Hello, I'm Dr. Donald Lee Bell from Virginia Beach, Virginia. Science has proven that exercise can prevent or help treat existing osteoporosis, and bone strength depends highly upon mechanical stress being put upon it. Like our muscles, our bones need to be challenged to grow. However, one cannot simply stand still to strengthen bones. Motion is essential. Medical research has revealed that the lack of movement, such as prolonged bed rest or being bound to a desk with little to no activity, can rapidly lead to bone loss. So the combination of physical forces on both muscles and bones is essential to prevent loss of bone mass. But the exercise must not be jarring, and it must be it's something you can do regularly to maintain better bone mass. It can't be done once in a while because if you quit, improvements in bone mass will just, they'll fade away. So it's critical to select exercise that can be realistically done on a regular basis and exercise that doesn't hurt you. In 1980, the Journal of Applied Physiology published a study where NASA scientists investigated trampoline exercises to see if it could help counteract uh, the astronauts' bone loss caused by spaceflight. So they were absolutely stunned by their results. The NASA scientists discovered that bouncing on the trampoline was actually much more efficient than running. So with up and down movements on a well-cushioned surface, the forces of acceleration deceleration and gravity are all lined up in one plane of movement all at the same time. And it appears that this results in the entire body sharing the g-force impact, which is in stark contrast to running where your feet, your ankles, and your legs bear most of the force and the fatigue. Now, I am personally not a runner, and I discourage my patients from doing it. The intense pounding and trauma of running can cause injuries to the feet, to the legs, to the knees, the hips, and the back. And this is all eliminated with rebounding. So in order to derive the osteoporosis combating benefits of consistent exercise, one must, one must not cause bodily harm in the process. So if you're a diehard jogger or a runner, you may want to think twice about lacing up those running shoes and pounding the pavement because it's just too much force on the body. Now I keep my Bellicon bungee rebounder ready for use in my living room at all times. Rebounding provides the needed elements of bone and muscle strengthening exercise, but it does so without the risks of injury found in so many other approaches. It's safe, it's easy, it's fun, and it can be done indoors or outdoors.